What is up guys, Cobra29 is here and today is a brand new video. This is going to be part two to my Royal High series, how to make a Royal High game. So if you were here for part one, if you weren't, go and scroll down to the description and click the link in the description for part one. Um, then you will know that last time we made a flying script, right? We, um, we did F to fly, right? So that was pretty cool. Um, and uh, we, so we've done that. Next thing I want to do is add a role play name, okay? This is a really useful fe uh, feature in Royal High, a role play and bio, okay? So first off, what you're gonna, what I'm gonna say is say thank you to Undone Builder. Uh, he did the scripting for this video. Um, I, well, I used his scripting for the video and I really just needed help filtering text. That's a really useful thing because we don't want them to be able to say anything with their roleplay name. We want them to be able to say things that are allowed in the chat, but not things that aren't allowed in the chat, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so first off, you're going to go into inventory and uh, drag in Royal High RP name. So I'm going to um, leave this uh, model in the description. You're just going to grab that one, not this one. This one, uh, one won't be in the description. This one will be. This is a different one. Uh, I had to redo it. Uh, so you're gonna go ahead and drag that into your game, into workspace. You can ungroup. Also, I want to say that this time I'm on a Mac. Uh, usually I'm not on a Mac, so you will notice that my placement is a little different um, uh, than on the uh, PC. Um, but that's okay. It's, um, just it, it, just work with what you've got for your setup. Okay, so once you've ungrouped that, sorry if you didn't know what I just did. Um, you're gonna hit, hit Control U or Command U if you're on a Mac to ungroup. Now what you're going to do is you're going to ungroup these in the different spots. So server storage, we're going to uh, ungroup here. And remember, we've got stuff from our um, uh, from our moon animator. Uh, this is actually, I'm sorry, this is my own thing. Um, but also, uh, if you go into uh, toolbox and you search sunset uh, serene sky, there's this uh, cool sky that I'm using. It's, uh, it's this one right here uh, that I think looks a little more Royal High-ish. Um, and if, if you don't like that, that's totally fine. It's totally up to you. Okay, next, ungroup and start a GUI. Gonna ungroup that. So this is the RP name. Um, I have already included a lot of the scripting, but we're gonna be doing the scripting to change the names, etc. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is first we're gonna go ahead and um, enter the script into server script service. Okay, so this is, uh, we're going to call this script overhead name cloner. Okay, so what this is doing is, okay, so what this is doing is it's going to, uh, we're going to name it overhead name cloner, and we're going to be, um, cloning the, uh, the, the overhead bio and overhead name that we have just made. So what we're going to say is we're going to say local, um, GUI equals game colon get uh get whoops not dot game colon get service uh s s whoops server storage okay sorry about the lag it is a lag colon wait f whoa dang it my bad colon wait for what have I done <laughs> okay epic fail right there okay colon wait for child and then we're going to say uh overhead what's this one name okay so what it's going to do is it's going to go into server storage and wait for overhead name okay pretty simple uh local gui2 equals game and then we can we're doing the same thing colon get service uh whoa server storage Colon wait for child. Now we're going to be doing the overhead bio. Okay, so we're waiting for these two things to load into the game so we can use them. We're gonna say game dot players dot player uh, player added colon connect. Oh my gosh, there's a horrible lag. I'm sorry guys for you, those of you who type fast. Function player but for those of you who are just kind of uh going along with me that might be a good thing okay so we're saying that uh we're just when a player is added we're going to do this we're going to say uh player dot character added colon connect function uh character okay so this is just again saying 
Well, when their character's added, we're gonna also do this, and here's their character whenever we reference character. It's gonna mean their character whenever we say player, it's referencing to the player. So that makes sense. Okay, local cloned GUI equals GUI colon clone. Pretty simple, we're cloning the overhead name. Uh, clone GUI dot uh, text label dot text equals player dot name. Okay, so this is pretty simple. We're just saying the overhead name, we're going to clone it and put it over them, and we are going to change the text to the player's name. And now we're going to say cloned GUI dot parent equals workspace colon wait for child player dot name dot head. Okay, so we're parenting it to the uh, character's head, uh, if that makes sense. We're going to put the GUI inside of the head so it shows above their head. Okay, local cloned GUI2 equals uh, GUI2 colon, yeah, GUI2 colon clone, like that. Uh, cloned GUI2 dot uh, text label dot text equals nothing right now right because we uh want we don't want them to start out with the bio we want them to be able to choose the bio that they're gonna have cloned gui uh two dot parent equals okay we're gonna say workspace dot uh, colon wait for child player dot name dot head once again okay so if we go ahead and play the game let's go ahead and play it right here we should notice if there are no errors in the output. Um, we should notice, yeah, see Mac lag. Um, let's see, yeah, that's, let's see. Let's see how it goes, okay. Yep, there we go, so we have our, uh, currently we have our uh, name above our head. Okay, so there's a little error with this RP name size. As you'll notice when you join the game, something's not right with the size, so let's see if we can figure that out. I'm going to go into main GUI and then show frame. I'm just going to make that a little bigger, right? Give it some more space. Let's go ahead and play that and see if that works any better. Hopefully. <laughs> um, so I've made it bigger. There we go. That's better. Okay, so we can currently fly. has our name above our head, which is perfect. And soon we're going to be able to change our name, okay? Um, and change our bio. Now... Uh, yeah, hide. Once again, we have it's cut off, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, fix that a little bit. I'm going to say uh, bio frame. Sorry, not bio frame. Uh, clo yeah, closed frame. I'm going to make this visible. Okay, see it says hide. I'm just going to scale that down to there. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Uh, now I'm going to go back to closed frame, and I'm going to go ahead and make that invisible again. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, uh, let me grab what we're doing next. Uh, I think, what we, yeah, what we're going to do is um, start doing the text so they can change the name. So we're gonna go into BioFrame and BioBox. Now we're gonna uh, insert a local script. So in this, we are going to, actually first, we have to create a couple remote events. Let's go up to uh, Workspace. We're gonna create two remote events, okay? So let's create a remote event. Um, and first, let's go ahead and create a folder, and we're going to name this uh, Events uh, Roleplay GUI, or RPG UI. Okay, we're going to put the remote event inside of there, and we're going to uh, call this one Change Bio Event, and we're going to duplicate that and call this one, uh, instead of Bio, just uh, Change Name Event. Okay, so pretty simple, uh, not much to say there. Okay, in the bio box, we are going to say local event equals workspace uh, dot event uh, our, our role play UI dot change bio event. Okay, so we're just referencing the uh, new event. We're going to say script dot uh, parent dot focus lost. So this is basically when they're pushing enter. Colon uh, connect uh, function enter pressed. Okay, and we can say print focus lost if you would like to, just to, uh, to say, okay, if they print, press enter. If enter pressed, then, well, focus, if the focus is lost, and then we're saying if, the, if they have pressed enter, then we're going to say um, 
event colon fire server script dot parent dot text. So we're throwing in the text right here um, of the uh, the text that they have entered to the bio box. Okay, now we're gonna go into the uh, we're actually gonna go to the, uh, grab that local script we just made, go into the name frame and the name box, and we're just gonna paste it into there. We're gonna make a few adjustments though because it's the name and not the bio. So we're gonna say change name event. Uh, and then that is that is it. Uh, change the name event. Okay, uh, that doesn't mean we're done though. <laughs> We've got a little bit more to do. So in the change bio event, we're gonna create a script. Okay, um, and then the so this is where we're gonna handle uh, the different uh, text and filtering it stuff like that. It's really not as hard as you would think. Script dot parent dot on server event colon connect function. So we're gonna pass. Uh, we always have to have pass the player. Okay, when we um, fire a mode event first, and then we can say text. Okay, so um, we have the player that fired the, the event, or the player that changed their bio, and the text that they want to put in their bio. Uh, we can say local filtered <coughs> equals game colon get service chat um, colon filter string for broadcast okay we don't even have to type out what we want them to filter it's literally already uh, included through roblox thank you roblox and we can say text stop uh, text comma player now we have our filtered text okay and we can say uh, we can print the filtered text just to um to show that we have it and we can say workspace colon find first child whoa find first child uh, player dot name. <coughs> Sorry, my voice going out a little bit. <laughs> um, dot head colon wait for child overhead bio. Uh, dot text label dot text equals filtered. So we're just changing the text of the uh, bio text box to our filtered text. Um, basically, imagine that uh, we have our text. People are sending to bad stuff, so it's going through the filter. It's taking out that bad stuff, and it's uh, changing your bio to everything minus the bad stuff. If that makes any sense at all. Um, that's all we're doing right here. Uh, so we can go to RP name. I'm going to say uh, change bio because that's what we've done so far. Um, uh, YT uh, name code bro 29. Boom. Perfect, so now I have my bio right here. So one thing I do wanna point out uh, before we move on is that in Roblox Studio, it will not filter text, but if you go into Roblox, uh, actual Roblox, then you will um, notice that it does, okay? Uh, that'll work just fine. So we're almost there. We have to, uh, right here, we're gonna copy that script and we're gonna change name event and we're gonna paste into. Okay, so uh, now all we have to do is we have to say, um, all we're going to do is, uh, change this from overhead bio to overhead name. And that should work, uh, if, if I'm mistaken, we will go back, uh, afterward and see what the problem is. But I believe this should work just fine. And then I'm going to show you some different custom things that you can do if you would like. Okay, uh, I'm going to go into Royal High. RP name. I'm gonna change my name this time since we just tested the uh, that. Okay, perfect. We have our roleplay name. Uh, I'm gonna say yt comma uh, 1.6k uh, subs uh, code bro 29. Boom. We have our bio and our roleplay name. I think this is pretty cool. So one thing I do want you to know is that you can change this font. Uh, in here. So if you go into overhead bio and overhead name and uh, select the text label, you can scroll down and it says Arial here. You can change these to really whatever you want. For example, I'm going to try antique for the bio and um, how about let's just do fantasy for the name. If we go ahead and play this and type in those, uh, just a a name again. Uh, I'm not going to do as much as I did last time. I'll probably just put YT in the bio name. Um, so if we go back in, 
Role play name, change name to code bro 29. Perfect, we've got our, our now, uh, uh, what do we call this one? I think it was fantasy one. And then we can say YT. Uh, this is an antique font. So you can change the fonts to make it look how you would like it to. Uh, keep in mind Royal High, or if you're doing a totally different like fairy game, keep in mind what your game style is. Don't do something like creepy if you're doing a fairy game, uh, etc. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please make sure to smash that subscribe button. Um, we are building up subscribers. It's, I'm like so happy with you guys. So uh, just thank, I want to first off say thank you to all of my subscribers. Um, and then, uh, yeah, make sure to join my group. The link will be in the description. Uh, and comment your ideas there if you'd like to see different, different even, even different things. If you want me to uh, script on different platforms. I put up a poll on my channel about that. Um, and yeah, just let me know what you want to see from me. So hope you enjoyed this. Uh, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.